I'm going to I'm going to tell you three things, and um, I think they're super important, and I'm excited by this talk because. I never thought about linking these three things together, right? Last week we talked about asshole. Yes. Don't be an asshole, especially don't be an asshole who asks another asshole. <laughs> and you're just a bunch of assholes talking. But remember, <laughs> while we laugh at that, that's the average world. Yeah. yeah. That's how everybody in your office is doing it. That's how everybody at work's doing it. That's how corporate works. So um, if you get unattached from that, to really free yourself to see what I'm trying to tell you. All right, so don't be an asshole, which takes me to this one. First nugget is this, the, you've heard me say before, quality of your life is directly, is what? What? Directly, directly related to the quality, it's a long one, uh, the what? The people you surround Questions, oh, questions you ask. That's a long one, but it's worth remembering. The quality of your life is directly related to the quality of the questions that you ask. Okay? So, a big part of your journey is you need to start asking better questions. Dr. Vaughn, what's a good snack to eat is not a good question. <laughs> You can Google it, right? You all, you already know blueberries is a good snack. You know green smoothie, you can have any time, right? So it's not a really good question. Another good question, why do I keep falling for the wrong guys? Not a good question. Not a good question, right? Maybe how do I find a better man? How do I find a better partner is a better question. Does that make sense what I'm saying? To find out why. Like how? get better questions. Um, some people are so frustrated they don't even ask questions. They'll say stuff like, it's hard to make money. Money don't get, doesn't grow on trees. That's a terrible statement. As opposed to saying, how do I make more money? Or how do I earn more money? More money? A better question is, how do I bring more value to people so that they would exchange their money with me? That's an even better question. Does that make sense? And. You want to stay away from people who ask really bad questions. And how do you know they're asking bad questions? Just see what they're posting. Yep. Just see what the shit they're posting on Facebook, you'll know. Man, I cannot hang out with this person anymore. Yep. I give people warnings, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't hang out with you if you do that again. You know, next time I go out with you, if there's another bar fight, I'm never hanging out with you again. <laughs> okay? Which then takes me to number two. Why did you have weight loss surgery? Or why did you want to lose weight? What's the only answer? Anyone know? Because I'm worth it. Because no. I'm worth it. No. Health. Better my life. Better my life. I'm worth it. More quality of life. Think about it. If you really wanted better health, you would have done it sooner, yes? Because mm -hmm. I want to live. Here's the only, only, the only answer is this. You wanted your life to change. Is that true? Yes. yes. You were tired of having diabetes and giving yourself insulin. You were tired of being out of breath trying to walk across the parking lot. You were tired of not being able to play with your kids on the playground. You wanted your life to change to some very superficial level. You were tired of feeling bad about yourself. The deeper stuff I try to get you to, to kind of realize is like, you're not living the life that you know you were destined to live. That's deeper stuff, right? But that's the only answer. And anyone who tells you that they had weight loss surgery because for their kids, dude, they, they don't have a deep enough understanding of, of this journey. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The only answer is because you wanted your life to change, yes? Yes. Now, if people don't realize that, will they go back to the same old habits? Yes. yes. Will they put their weight back on? Yes. And then they'll say, it didn't work for me. Because they are the same person. Because they didn't change. Yes. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Which now is going to take me to number three. <clears throat> there is no maintenance phase. 
you do not ever tell me you're hoping to maintain. I'm at my goal weight, I just hope to maintain here. You are doomed to regain. The second you say words like that, you are doomed to regain. There is no maintenance phase. You're always working towards changing. So that's number two, number three. You are always, always, always working to change. And by change, I mean what? Improving, learning more. Becoming more, right? Even if the scale doesn't move, will there be a time in your life when the scale doesn't move? Yes. Sometimes or all the time? All the, all the stinking time. So if you were trying to lose weight, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to lose weight, the second the scale stalls, what are you gonna do? Freak out. Freak out, go back to your old habits. See, it didn't work for me. But that's not why you had surgery. It wasn't to lose weight. It was? Change. Change to change your life. And to change your life, you got to ask better questions. That's deep right there. You got to change. You have to ask better questions. You have to get around people who know better questions to ask. Sometimes we don't know. You got to get around people who are going to call you on your BS. Thank you. You got to get around people who've already done it. Dude, I've already tried that. Doesn't work. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. Yep. You know. You gotta get around people that says, hey man, if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. And here's how I did it. Ask better questions, okay? So when you start to ask better questions, what you start to realize is this. Dude, I'm never staying the same. I'm always improving. Even if that damn scale doesn't move. Now some people think they're smart. They'll say, well, I got more muscle tone. My clothes fit better. Still too superficial. But yes, it's true. Your body's making new cells. Yes, you're going to lose fat percentage. Yes, you might gain muscle mass. Yes. But that's nothing to do with this. Does that make sense? Yes. That going to the gym every single day started here. You decided to go to the gym every single day. You decided to wake up and make green smoothies every day. You decided to go for that promotion. You decided to read a book on how to do a job interview so you could get that job promotion. And it all started up here. Does that make sense? Now when you when you understand this to a very deep level, like I'm always improving, I'm always getting better. I'm always getting better. Who would like to go see a surgeon that says, that fancy schmancy laparoscopic surgery stuff, I don't do that, I just do big open cuts. Ouch. Yeah. Would you go see that person? No. no. I've done it for 20 years, it works great. You would say what? No. no. And that surgeon would be what? Out of business. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta always change and improve. You gotta always change and improve. Okay? <clears throat> now, two things real quick. And I know it's, it's never a comparison journey. I want you to understand this. It's never a comparison journey. But there's a misperception here. Sometimes we think that, hey, I'm moving, I'm changing, I'm trying. I tried my first green smoothie, I didn't gag. I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. Even though you are improving, changing, if someone else is changing faster than you, then you're actually falling behind. Mm -hmm. This is really deep shit. Now I'm not talking about your weight, I'm not talking about your weight loss journey. I'm talking about your job promotion. You might think you're getting better at your job, but that skinny Asian who shows up an hour early and stays an hour late and is reading on weekends and is going to the conferences, he's leaving you behind. Even though you're improving. Okay? Now that's just another person. If the world, I'll give you a monetary example. The cost of things since 19, I think this, I think it was 19, 1995 or 2000, I can't remember, uh, 20 years. The cost of everything's basically doubled. But the average salary has only increased 3%. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So your money has improved by a whopping 3% in 20 years. Yeah, but it's improved. Even with all the economic crash in 2008, problem is the cost, that's your comparison, has improved by 100%. So you've actually fallen behind even though you're making more money 
than you were 20 years ago. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you got to improve faster than the cost of inflation. That's the point. You got it? So the real question becomes like, how quickly can I change? These are, now yeah, look at me, look at me. How quickly, how, how faster, how more efficiently, shortcuts, what doesn't work, what does work? Now you're starting to get better questions. Now you start getting better questions, the stuff that really changes your life, right? The stuff that really impacts your life, the stuff that will really make a difference, that will take your business to, to another level, that will take your weight loss journey to something really enjoyable as, as opposed to a struggle. If you don't do this stuff, I promise you, six months, nine months, one year, two years from now, you guys will be saying, yeah, I stalled and it never worked for me. The struggle's real. I want a snack. Struggle's real. I'm up at midnight wondering where my husband is. Struggle's real. Like, that's not a good question. Where's my husband? Mm -mm. <laughs> the good question is, where can I hide the body? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> good point. <laughs> now, let's hold on. Let me now I can't use this video. You see how y'all are? <laughs> so what you have to do is embrace this. I argue online with too many people who don't want to change. My favorites. It's my best recipe. But this is where we always go to vacation. These are our friends. We always hang out with them. Listen, you need new friends. They're the ones that got you 300 pounds. You need a new relationship with your boss. You need to learn how to communicate with your kids so they're not always stressing you out. You need to learn to build your man up or your spouse up so that you have a better relationship that's more meaningful and impactful. You need to read a book on finances. You can't spend more than you earn. Not gonna get you there, right? That's it. The sooner I can get you to embrace the change, faster we can start asking better questions, which is the push you need to keep going. The push you need, because you're gonna all face challenges in this journey. Is that true? Yes. Y'all have a good talk? Yeah. yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome. Woo all right, get out of here. <laughs>